शॉपिंग जाओ और पैसे खत्म कैन यू इमेजिन इसीलिए कैश कैरी करना मैंने कब का छोड़ दिया अब तो सिर्फ ये बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा का डेबिट कार्ड अब ऑफलाइन शॉपिंग करने का मूड हो या ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग ये तो कहीं भी यूज हो सकता है और अगर कभी कैश की जरूरत पड़ ही गई तो कोई भी एटीएम से निकाल लो बस किसी और देश जाओ तब भी कैश की टेंशन नहीं ए हो या पेमेंट ये कार्ड करें आपकी वेकेशन स्ट्रेस फ्री पिन और सी नंबर के साथ कार्ड यूज करना है कम्प्लीटली सेफ एंड सिक्योर और इतने सारे ऑप्शंस के साथ अब आपका डेबिट कार्ड बनेगा फैशन स्टेटमेंट आखिर फ्यूचर है बैंकिंग तो इजी ही होगी बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा इंडिया इंटरनेशनल बैंक ISD of 2020 and a day to reckon how far fling we have come and how far we have to go along with multifarious struggles and triumphs there is much more to thrive and much more to show let's rejoice the majestic journey of ISD of 2020 had up to now let's take a vow to make it even better oman a jewel of the arabian peninsula in the middle east is in a board of peace and bliss for which we are obliged to his majesty sultan haitim bin tariq al said we take this opportunity to pay our respect and gratitude to his majesty for his benevolence and kind support to the indian diaspora in oman distinguished motivational speaker mr chetan bhagat dr baby sam samuel board of directors of indian schools in oman mr gajesh kumar dariwal director in charge of indian school al mabela respected directors of the bod mr jolly matthews president of indian school al mabela school management committee presidents and members of the school management committees from the 21 indian school care and special education in oman senior principal and education advisor mr vinoba mp assistant education advisors Dr Alexi Joseph and Dr Gokuladas VK principals dignitaries teachers parents and students of Indian schools in the Sultanate of Oman a pleasant evening and warm welcome to the motivational talk session of the third day of ISTF 
I'm Joy Jolly Matthews, and I will be your host along with Roma till the end of this session. It has been an intensive three days, productive, fruitful, and wonderful programs. A sense of overwhelming elation sweeps over us as the knell has been struck to herald the closing ceremony of the third day of ISD of 2020, which has witnessed prospective students' ostentatious display of talents. Let us commence with the prayer, which is the greatest wireless connection between God and man. One song can change a moment. One idea can change the world. One step can start a journey. But prayer, prayer can make the impossible possible. To begin this auspicious occasion, let us listen to the song in reverence and invoke the Almighty.
extend your arms in welcome to the future. The best is yet to come. Hospitality is one of the virtues that has been the trait of mankind and we are well known for it. To give a red carpet welcome to the dignitaries and everyone present online, may I invite Dr. Alexei Joseph, Assistant Education Advisor and Head Academics, Board of Directors, Indian Schools in Oman. Mr. Chetan Bhagat, the Chief Guest and Keynote Speaker of this evening, Dr. Baby Sam Samuel, Chairman, Board of Directors, Indian Schools, and other esteemed members on the board, President Mr. Jolie Matthews, and other members of the Indian School Al Mabela Management Committee, Principal Mr. P. Prabhagaran, and teachers of Indian School Al Mabela. SMC's principals, teachers, students, and parents of all Indian schools in Oman. Good evening and a warm welcome to this evening's program. When you fly high, people will throw stones at you. Do not look down, just fly higher so the stones won't reach you. Work hard, but make time for your love, family and friends. Nobody remembers the PowerPoint presentations on your final day. I've just picked up two epigrammatic statements of Chetan Bhagat. The former on our professional life and the latter on our personal life. Both the statements are self-explanatory, very practical and down to earth, but very often neglected in our own lives. We thank you, Ms. Chetan, for the indelible insights you have given to transform thousands and millions of lives across the globe. The entire session this evening will not suffice to speak about the influence this handsome young author has on society. We have often heard that pen is mightier than the sword. And it has been proved true in the life of Chetan Bhagat. His books have seen, and his books have been so powerful that they could reach the silver screen to edify the multitude of Indian population. I deem it my privilege to welcome Chetan Bhagat, one of the most influential people of our times and a motivational speaker par excellence to the Indian schools family in Oman. We have 21 Indian schools with 46,000 plus students and their parents and 2000 plus staff. They are all waiting to listen to you, and I extend a warm welcome to them all. A cordial welcome to the chairman and the members on the board of directors, presidents and members on the SMCs of all Indian schools to this evening's program. Stay tuned to hear Mr. Chetan Bhagat in a short while. Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome, sir. I'm certain that everyone felt special today. Well, our students will present a song that rocked the charts. A super hit from the legendary Alan Walker and Ava Max. You simply cannot stop moving with a song. The groove is just awesome. This evening, the little ones from Indian School Al Mabela are gonna set you in the groove one more time. Friends, put the stage on fire. Over to the Nightingales of ISAM. <laughs>
performance by these children. They really enjoyed singing the song and took us to another world altogether. The fragrance of flour spread only in the direction of the wind, but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to have with us one of the best stirring Indian authors, columnist, motivational speaker, and youth icon as the keynote speaker. Mr. Chetan Bhagat graduated in mechanical engineering at IIT Delhi and completed an MBA at IIM Ahmedabad. He's the author of blockbuster novels and the books have remained bestsellers since their release. His latest novel, One Arranged Murder, is a thriller that will keep you hooked until the end. He's a winner of many awards and recipient of accolades for his creativity. Once, the New York Times referred to him as the biggest selling English language novelist ever in India. Let's watch a video presentation on this iconic personality, Mr. Chetan Bhagat. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, proud to welcome the most influential writer celebrity, Mr. Chetan Bhagat, who has captured the young minds with his prolific writing. To share his thought-provoking speech, we are extremely elated to have you amidst us, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Firstly, I um, heard the songs. They were wonderful. So big congrats to all those people. Um, thanks to uh, Vijita Joel, you're doing a great job, super confident. And thank you, Dr. Alex, for uh, having me. Dhania ma'am, Ritika ma'am. Uh, it is a big honor to be on this um, annual day um, event. Uh, I mean, this... Uh, this event for me and I, I must say I've been waiting since morning it's it's a I'm a little ahead of you I'm in India so the timing is a bit uh, but like when the first time it came that the Indian school talent fest is happening I was like wow that's such a good idea because um, to me in this these current times a lot of times you know we we feel like okay it's corona time and how can we do these things let's just do the bare minimum um, let's just uh, I don't know, focus on academics and not worry about things uh, like talent and all these various wonderful activities that are on the invitations and everything. And uh, it's easy. Anybody would understand. But the fact that um, the team went ahead, they recognized it, they did it. Um, it's very special to me because I think 
expressing your creativity whether it's through singing dancing writing i don't know there's so many painting so many different different ways is very very important and i think to to do that even in this time um i congratulate the uh, the all the organizers the indian school al mabela for doing this and of course to have me as the chief guest um you know it it is something i have always held dear i i i have always felt that we must do our curriculars which is our academics but we must do other things that's what um, extra curriculars are about and extra curriculars i know we call them extra curriculars as if curricular is the main thing and extra curricular is something extra but there is nothing extra about it that is also curricular to uh, the confidence of the compeers of the evening just look at this which subject will teach you this right so to have something like this this opportunity tomorrow you go into the real world you you can handle it you know but no i'm, I'm not bringing down academics or anything like that but they don't teach you all this right or the fact that the uh, you know the the little kids who were singing just now i mean they were singing so well they have practiced it's not like they just did it like this right they practiced they came they had such wonderful harmony that they have learned something they've learned to work with people they've learned to interact with the others they've learned to be in a team to to and then the final confidence of of doing it and making and like having literally maybe thousands of people watching you i think that is so important and i'm just so proud that you guys are doing an event like this even in these current times and i think um, not only it shows your grit your determination your uh never give up attitude which is very much needed in these times but it also shows a sensitivity towards doing um things that are related to creativity if i may say so related to talent uh which are very very important in life not only just because they are fun but because they they give you very essential life skills today i am who i am today firstly wonderful video i'm sure the some of the students only have put it together or whoever has put it together thank you so much it's so special i almost want a copy of it so that i can play it in some other places when i give talks so good job very professional excellent uh and you know i today who whoever i am it's because of my extra curriculars yes i have um uh, done academics i have gone to engineering college i've done an mba i've done all this but that has not touched people the way my stories have uh, if if some of you are excited to listen to me today it's because of three dates it's because of two states it's because of my books it's because of my movies or whatever and that has not so much to do with extra curricular uh, with academics but it's to do with extra curriculars because my extra curriculars in school was writing and if i didn't do that see i never we never get grade for extra curriculars right we, we at least in my school we didn't um you they were just optional activities right they were just something you do and nowadays i know because i'm also a dad myself i have two 16 year olds and you know how the whole college thing is people are like let's put some extra curriculars you know that wasn't even there because i am from the indian system so they nobody cared for college admissions whether you did any extra curriculars or not i don't think iit even cares <laughs> like you know they just care what is that so if we did extra curriculars we did them for the love of it you know we we loved it and uh, we didn't have the kind of opportunities that i would say my kids have or pe- uh, students in oman have we didn't even have technology we didn't have you know you can't even imagine that world maybe but i i chose writing and i obviously did not think that this writing is going to give me a career one day it's going to give me a how i make my living it's going to give me recognition it's going to make me the chief guest of function i i never thought that and let me tell you the story also how i started writing i was in class 5 grade 5 and the school was launching a magazine i was in the army public school as the video also showed in delhi and i'm in delhi tonight actually happened to be so um there's this magazine that was being launched and 
you know, it's not like we had computers or anything like you just send an email to everyone or put a Facebook post that this magazine is being launched. You know, literally everybody in school had to be communicated that they're launching a magazine. Now you can't launch a magazine without articles. So teachers, always the poor teachers who get the job, right? So the teachers were given the responsibility to go to the students and tell them to write articles. Again, we had no computers or anything, right? So write the articles by hand. And obviously it's extra work. So who wants to do it? So I still remember my grade five teacher, she came and she scolded us. And she said, hey, all of you, you are starting this magazine. Why aren't you writing articles? Write something. It was like that. I said, okay, I'll write a joke. I don't remember that joke. It was probably a very silly joke, like grade five joke. So I wrote a joke and I just scribbled it. I didn't have very good handwriting. I, I, I just wrote it and I gave it to her. And this is the first time in my life I'd actually ever written something, which was obviously not just in my classwork notebook. I had written something like creative. So I wrote a joke and I gave it to her. And then I forgot about it. It's not a magazine that just came the next day. I think it came after one or two months. Two months later, I got a magazine. Everybody was given the magazine in school, all grades, different, different children have written articles in it and all that. I am searching, searching, searching. Is my joke there? Is my joke there? Is my joke there? And obviously my joke was there, but since it's a joke, it was just like a tiny footnote at the end of an article, right? And, but, 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 the joke was there and it said Chetan Bhagat class 5A. Now, at that time, the generation I'm from, you never saw your name in print or in that print font. I think sir and ma'am may relate to that era. Nowadays, you just type your name on the phone or print out or whatever. You see your name printed. You, it, we always, the only way you wanted to see your name written was handwriting. But printed in a magazine, Chetan Bhagat, it was in a footnote joke. But to me, it was like, oh my God, like I have made it in life. I'm somebody, you know, I obviously there was no, I couldn't take a picture and send it to the family WhatsApp group, like what people do today. I literally kept the magazine. I took it to all my relatives houses one by one. And I like bookmarked it and I showed that this is me and this, and it was a high. I never felt that high when I got, I mean, I felt good when I got marks in science. I, I felt good when I got like good marks in maths or English or whatever. But that high was something else. To see Chetan Bhagat printed. Okay, this is Chetan Bhagat who used to wear little shorts and a shirt and you know, like I, I was maybe 10, 9. I don't know how old I was. And that began the journey. Then I started contributing to the magazine in school, in grade six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Sometimes I sent, when I was older, um, then I went to college. There I started contributing in IIT also, we had a magazine, uh, we had a BSP called Board of Student Publications. And I started contributing short stories and things like that. Uh, you know, as you get older, I got some courage and I started sending some, uh, it's still there, but it used to be very popular then called Letters to the Editor you know, in newspapers. So if you, if you, uh, we used to be taught this in school, how to write a letter to the editor. So you read the newspaper and you react to some article and you send a letter to the editor. And then some, some of those letters are printed. So I thought in college, let me try and do this. And I did that. And I actually got my letter printed in newspaper. That was like newspaper. So not just school magazine, college magazine. And that again, gave me another high. And then I kind of forget, uh, went and finished my college, started working in a bank. And that was that. I started working. And what the funny thing I found was not just me, all my batchmates, you can say from college, everybody gave up their extracurriculars. Then I realized why these were called extra. Because extra means it's not something you put on your resume so much. And once you start working, if you're in a bank, my friends who played basketball no longer played basketball. My friend who used to paint or uh, make posters for the school exhibition no longer made posters because now he's working in a bank. And Chetan Bhagat 
the great joke teller in class 5 was working in a bank and that's my boss didn't want me to be funny or you know, do anything and extracurriculars stop and i thought okay so is this what extracurriculars are about is this what this dancing and singing and uh, all this is is it only in school is it till college is it to maybe get a college admission is it to get a job admission i, I don't know and then you stop because you're in a bank or in a multinational or whatever i thought that doesn't seem right i thought no that that's not right because i was feeling something is missing in my life when i was in college i also not only contributed to magazines and all uh, like college magazine i also wrote plays i i directed plays it was all writing related stuff but i i kind of kept it going and then it went to zero and i said that doesn't feel right and something is missing in my life because it became a part of me and it made me happy it wasn't that i was writing to i don't know build up my resume or uh, impress anybody i used to like it and i had stopped so i said luckily for writing you don't need a basketball court right you don't need a tennis court so writing you can do anywhere so i started writing i started writing about my college i wrote my first book which was actually literally the story of my college five point someone which then became three idiots and i wrote it and of course there's a whole journey on how the book was not getting published and it took many years but it got published made history then the movie came and the movie made history but if chetan bhagat in class 5a had not written that joke if that teacher had not come to class and scolded us and said all of you you better give articles for the magazine i wouldn't be the chief guest at your function today bizarre isn't it so who knows who knows who will come out of indian school talent fest that is why there is a talent fest guys to find yourself to to discover something about you to let you express yourself to build something in you not just you know oh my god they are telling us to take part now i better take part oh my god why are they doing this in corona time oh my god what will this all mean i better study for my test no you never know where life will take you and that was never the idea i was not doing it that it will take me somewhere it did take me somewhere and that is amazing and i know i am an exception but even before it took me anywhere i still wrote that book while in the bank right i didn't know this book is going to take me anywhere i still spent two years doing it why because it made me happy art makes you happy creativity makes you happy doing things that you have a talent for makes you happy so it is i congratulate all of you who are taking part i i really salute the organizers and i'm definitely honored to be here i'm also very happy that you made me recount my childhood which i never tell this story to any but when i saw like those people sing little children singing and all that i i just remembered my equivalent is an annual day in a way you know i mean i didn't have we didn't have this fest but i i compare it to an annual day of my school and my god how much it meant to us my heart used to be they sing and this that and um you know uh, let's just hope things get normal and your annual day is not just virtual but for real as well and i i can come there in oman and meet you guys but guys just keep taking part in things keep trying new things don't approach things everything like okay what will give me marks and you know why why, why am i being told to do this it's extra work it's not work if you love it you know so one is that second thing i'm going to say to you even if you love it it will still require self discipline it will still require hard work to build something out of it i love writing but it doesn't mean i love writing every day it is a lot of work try writing two pages of an assignment and it will it's so difficult and i try writing 300 pages it's not like i love writing that it comes like magic to me no i have to sit and strain same way people who sing have to practice same way people who play a musical instrument have to practice it's called riyaz in you know uh, in indian language it's called riyaz it's called practice basically just it's just practice at everything and that requires self discipline you require that in academics also 
but just because it's extracurricular it doesn't mean it doesn't require rigor hard work self discipline if you want to make something out of it yeah this fest is a platform but it is up to you to keep polishing your talent just having talent is not enough lot of people have talent i know writers who are better writers than me i'm being totally honest but they have not been able to do what i have because something else other than talent is required hard work discipline commitment grind all these things which have got nothing to do with talent it's just your mindset saying i have this work i have to do it i have to get better i have to get better i have to get better and that creates magic one day so that's some of my opening thoughts to you guys thank you once again for having me congrats everyone for this wonderful and really an honor to be the main person on the at this fest and making me the chief guest thank you so much a hearty thanks to mr chetan bhagat for the encouraging and inspiring message it's an honor to have you sir with us we are charmed by your sharp fluency and we are extremely motivated by your pragmatic speech thank you very much sir dear viewers we are moving on to the most interesting portion of the day it is the interactive session with an acclaimed author this is going to be a moment worth cherishing for our students as there are voracious readers in the lot at the outset i thank mr chetan bhagat for graciously accepting to answer our curious students and teachers as we all know it's easy to ask questions rather than to give answers however i am pretty sure that it's not the case with mr chetan bhagat his interviews are quite interesting and straightforward hence this evening we hope to have a resourceful interactive session with a writer of best sellers with your kind consent sir may i begin the interactive session yes thank you sir it's our privilege and honor i request the assistant head boy master vishwanath praveen of class 11 from our mother school which was established 35 long years ago none other than our very own indian school mascot here i invite vishwanath praveen who is virtually connected to interact with our esteemed guest over to you vishwanath thank you so much ma'am and a very good evening to you sir so as introduced by ma'am i am vishwanath praveen from indian school mascot and it truly is an honor to be able to hear you speak and now even converse with you so so during the course of your speech you talked about how you talked about the life rather of a fifth grader who wrote a joke and then became a worker in a bank who then wrote a story while working in that bank and is now a world renowned author so while listening to this i had a small question that came to mind which i wanted to ask you so and the question is how much do you think that your writing can serve as a medium for evolving or changing the mindset of the indian community to a more accommodating and accepting one well i didn't plan on that when i started writing i just i told you i wrote because i loved it then people started liking my stories and then the stories traveled and all and then somewhere i felt can i do more with it because i am educated i have gone to colleges and yeah i can just keep writing fun stories and humor and things like that but can i use the platform the the so called celebrity platform you have that a lot of people know you and listen to you or read about you to kind of create some positivity in society and i think that something that I have tried to do I, i i can't really say it would be very arrogant for me to say that yeah i have created change but the intention is to create change when i i mean today i wasn't telling you about like three year stories or two state stories i wasn't i was telling you about the importance of self discipline for example i was telling you about the importance of you know doing something outside your curriculars it's a chance for me to tell you and maybe some of you will listen and they'll be like oh okay this guy whose stories i liked um i found fun is telling me to do this so in that sense there is some change i have managed to create so i think 
uh, that has been a nice blessing i've had and i want to use the platform i have to to have that um, influence to create positive change thank you sir thank you sir for your holistic perspective i also thank vishwanath for posing an excellent question i now invite ms pushpashri of class 9 from the school which is celebrating its decennial year and the host of ISTF 2020 none other than indian school alma bela dear pushpa shri you may please put forward your question to the eminent personality amits us thank you ma'am good evening sir i am pushpa shri ramgopal from indian school alma bela and it is such an honor to be able to interact with you sir while i read your books Two of the things that impact me the most are plot and character. I would like to know whether you come up with the plot first or start with the character. That's a very good question. Thank you, and that's a involved question. And I must say, and I'm not just saying it like that. I have done a lot of interviews, hundreds of interviews with journalists, professional journalists, and your question is a smarter question than theirs. So, well done. Um, both are important. Um, I. i i think of character first if i like a character then i try to figure out uh, a plot for them my books are also very fast paced and and the kind of books i write a lot of people read them and especially now i'm writing like murder mysteries and things like that in that the plot also becomes very important because you can uh, maybe some people out there do it but usually a murder mystery like it it begins with like who's done the murder and it ends with finding out who the murderer is so you need to know the plot you need to know the ending right you need to know the beginning middle and end so in that the plot is also important but for me i think that's the reason my books have done well is the characters people relate to the characters so i i first keep thinking about the character for a long time long time long time and then i get into plot thank you thank you sir it has really been a privilege interacting with you thank you thank you pushpashri and thank you sir I believe children you would have taken a note of the essence of the information shared by sir Pushpashri I'm equally impressed that you at this tender age have started reading extensively good job keep it up Let's have another student Miss Zarina Mathur of class 11 from the school which created a benchmark by winning the world scholars cup tournament Our very own Indian school, Al Gubra. Dear Zarina, you may proceed to know more from the prolific writer with us. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, sir. I'm Zarina Mater, representing Indian school, Al Gubra. It is my immense pleasure to have an opportunity to interact with you. You were included in the Times Magazine's list of world's hundred most influential people in 2010. How does it feel having a significant impact on young minds to a degree that influences how they tend to live their lives? It's a good question. I it obviously feels good, but you know I'll tell you, being called influential, being kind, somebody who young people listen to, it also creates an issue. Sometimes when I'm writing stories, interesting stories are about naughty kids. But if I write a story, which keeping on thinking oh my god i am going to influence people so i better show good boys and good girls all the time now that's a lot of pressure and then it won't be such a fun story so that is an issue sometimes because i um, <laughs> i i have to write stories that are fun and interesting and inter- people who are crazy make more interesting stories even fictional characters but then people will say oh my god what are you showing you know people are listening to you so as long as people understand that in my stories i'm just writing entertaining stories but when i give a speech or something i have to be responsible and i am so please just as long as people can keep that difference i really like it that there is a little more to me than just writing fun stories i can i can use my reach uh, you know to guide young people just tell them things which i wish someone had told me when i was in school or something like that Thank you very much for your time. It's truly a privilege to meet you. Thank you. 
We sincerely extend our expression of thanks to you, sir. Dear audience, let's extend a thunderous applause. Zarina, it was so wonderful connecting to you as well. And we congratulate you for being chosen to represent your school. Now I call upon Ms. Ananya Ganeshan Vishwanathan of class 11 from the school, which is a thousand kilometers away from the capital, but has many accolades spread far and wide. Let us connect to Ms. Ananya from Indian School Salala. Ananya, you may please pose the question to the contemporary writer. Good evening, sir. I'm Ananya GV representing Indian School Salala. It's a privilege to be able to interact with you, sir. Thank you so much for inspiring young minds. Sir, you have been lauded as one of the most eminent authors of the century, obviously. And during your speech, you talked about how writing doesn't come so easily. So is there a specific method that you use to overcome that writer's block, sir? Yeah, I mean, you know, writer's block is when, usually writer's block comes when you are tense or anxious or you are putting too much pressure on yourself. So one thing I do is I don't only write. I love writing, but that's not the only thing I do. I Like I'm doing this. So I live my life. I have experiences. I, 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 I kind of write one year. I will not write one year like that. I'll do usually. And that one year I won't write. So then the next year comes, I'm itching to write. So I, before the block comes, I give breaks. I, I, I make sure I have a life which is interesting. I have different, different experiences so that, that mind, my mind stays fresh. It, it feels like getting, you know, gets inspiration to write new stories. If I only keep writing, my mind will run out of imagination. And if even during writing, sometimes it's not happening. Um, initially, I used to be much harder on myself. But now, you know, after having done so much, I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. It'll come. Thank you, so that was very insightful and I'm sure it'll be helpful and other young writers mm -hmm. as well. Thank you, dear Ananya, and thank you very much, sir, for your illumination and your love for the students. Ananya, thank you so much for posing a question that would have benefited many young readers. Here we have Mohammed Akif of class 11 from the school which is situated in nature's lab and lush green grass our very own Indian school Mulada. Dear Akif, please present your question to get more insight from the renowned writer amidst us. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, sir. I'm Mohammed Akif representing Indian school Mulada. So I'm a huge fan of your work and this is a wonderful opportunity for me to be able to talk to you. Sir, you look at the world with a different perspective and you wish to create an impact on the minds of young people through your writings. So what impact do you think you have already made and what more do you envisage? Well, that's a very, very deep question, sir. <laughs> You've asked me, even though you're in grade level, uh, it's something I think about, you know, I've been writing so many books and for so many years and I'm 46 now. I, I started I, writing my first book when I was 28. So it's been a while. I think I just uh, at a stage of my life where I want to create more change and I'm, um, I used to give, I, before COVID, I used to go and give a lot of motivational talks. Uh, now I've tried to move that to social media. So I don't know if you follow me on Instagram and all, it's mainly motivational stuff, small two minute motivational videos every week. The aim now is not to achieve so much myself, but to help others achieve. I will keep doing something. I will write something. I'll have a book every now and then, maybe a movie now and then. But it's not as crazy a drive in me like I had 10 years ago. But now it's like, okay, because it's never ending, right? I could just keep doing it. But now I feel like I can also spend my time encouraging people and, and just guiding them a little bit maybe. And that's very fulfilling to me. So it will be more in that direction. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Akif. Hope you have gathered the depth of the writing skill perfectly well, right? It is believed that we should prepare the child for the path and not the path for the child. 
With this, I request the Assistant Vice Principal, Primary Section, Mrs. Danya Pradeep, whose goal is to make our young generation future ready. Kindly pose your question, ma'am. Over to you. Thank you, Ritika, ma'am. Good evening, everyone. Sir, it is a moment of great pride for us to be part of this rewarding discussion with you. And also, it is something unimaginable. This I'm saying, sir, because there I was a couple of months back sitting on my reading couch with the book One Arranged Murder in my hand. And here I am really talking to you. I'm really excited. Uh, so the first question I would like to pose is when I was reading uh, the novel, what strikes me is usually when I read the thrillers, I'm eager to know uh, who has done that. But this book, uh, and I admit, sir, from bottom of my heart, I'm saying this is the first kind of book wherein I'm not eager to know the reason, but also I'm trying to understand the characters, Saurabh, Prerana, all the characters, Keshav, I can uh, really connect to them. So it is really wonderful, thanks to the ISTF platform that made something impossible possible for us. Sir, I have a question. You. That's very kind. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I have a question for you. Uh, as an author, a screenplay writer, motivational speaker, you have stunned the world. As you told, you are a family man. And as, as also we know, you are a family man, a father of two teenage sons. You have a lot of roles to play. How do you manage the time to justify these different roles? And most importantly, how do you limit distractions, sir? Some tips for us. It's very difficult. Both the things. The balance of work and family and also the distractions. So I'll come to the first one. If you love your work, they say do work. If you love your work, then you, you can overdo it. You can, because you, you love it. So you want to keep doing it. But you also have a family and you have these obligations and you have to kind of, so I told myself that I, I am a writer, but that's not all I am. You know, I will never be, even though it's exciting, it's intoxicating to be introduced with videos and giant screens and things like that. That's not what I'm all about. I, I need to be a dad to my kids too. And they don't need, they don't care if I'm being introduced like this or I'm chief guest or not. For them, I'm just dad. They're not going to treat me like a chief guest. So I think I try to balance that out. And in terms of distractions, it's hard. The phone is the biggest one. So I would say if you want one tip, reduce your screen time, check your screen time, have the guts, go on your phone and check your screen time and then cut it. 20%, 30%, I think that'll, that'll help a lot. If that just one distraction you can manage, you'll realize that suddenly there is so much time in the day. <laughs> yes, sir. Well noted, sir. We'll certainly follow your suggestions. <laughs> Thank you. So one more question with your permission. With the surge yes. in appeal, readers, writers, and publishers realize the impact of the growing technical advancement. What specific advantages and concerns do writers face, sir, in this scenario? Well, it is different. Con there is a lot of content now. And um, it's on YouTube and it's on Instagram and it's on Netflix and it's on TV and it's on cinema. It's like endless. And there's only so much content people can consume. So I think writing will always remain. It's just that the books, it's not like books will go away. But books will have to change. We'll have to get to more ebooks. We'll have to get to more audiobooks. And writers will have to do more than books, like I try to do. I do movies, I try to do television, I try to do talks. It's all writing, but it may not be in a book format. And that's the, the way things are. The world is changing, and the world will always keep changing. So, you know, but I can still write. It may be for a show rather than for a book. So I think that's how you look at it. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. I, it was indeed uh, great conversing with an acclaimed personality like you. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank Thank I will so always much. cherish these moments. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, dear ma'am. We are grateful to you too for supporting us in making this conversation very fruitful for all the teachers and parents attending the session, ma'am. With your kind approval, sir, 
Can I please put forward some questions which are being dropped in my inbox by the viewers who have joined us through the live streaming of this program, sir? Yeah, I mean, we can't do all, but let's just pick like a quick two, three questions. Yeah, sure, sir. Definitely. Thank you for your consent, sir. The very first question dropped by the viewer goes like this. Sir, how do you feel about the success achieved by you? Has it brought fame and recognition along with the feel of being a contended writer? Yes, I mean, I, I obviously like the fact that it has worked out so well for me, my field that I loved. But at the same time, you know, I don't let it go to my head. I, I, I don't know how to say it. But that's just the best way to say it. I don't let it go into my head. If I start thinking that that's just my brand, my introduction, my resume, my work, it's my brand. It's not Chetan Bhagat the person. It's Chetan Bhagat the writer, which is a brand. And that separation in my head helps me remain normal. And that separation in my head, you know, makes me feel normal when I'll finish this webinar and I'll take a shower and I'll wear normal clothes and, you know, it's, it's okay. So I think, um, yes, I feel very content, but at the same time, I have to be continuously careful to not let it go to my head. And that's why I've been able to keep on doing new work. Every time I do work, I, I begin as a learner. I don't, uh, you know, so that that's the issue I feel like I don't want it to go to my head. Right, so well noted. And really, that was, you know, true to life. I could even connect that a person should be like this only. We should have that yeah, much of you. that thought alone. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. So quickly, we'll go to the second question, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah, thank you. Was there any such theme which has involved a great amount of thinking and can be considered as the toughest of all to be concluded, sir? Yeah, I mean, I wrote one book called One Indian Girl. I don't know how many of you know about it, but that book I wrote in the voice of a girl, like okay. the first person, yeah. girl's voice. It was very difficult for me because I, I'm not a girl. So I, I <laughs> think like a girl. So when you're writing in first person as a girl, you're not only writing the dialogues that is okay you can hear how girls talk but to think like a girl is difficult so okay so but, you were you into know, those shoes that book, but girls have read the book and said yeah it's it's fine this is how we think sometimes so i think i'm happy but that was the most challenging great to know that sir great to know yeah thank you and we'll move on to the next one yeah uh, that person is Just asking make it the last question yeah. oh th this should be the last one right yeah. Okay, then we are curious to know what is the for upcoming projects, sir? What oh, are your a... upcoming projects and which have caught your attention to be penned down? This is the question, sir. Yeah. So, you know, in the lockdown, I was forced to be at home and you know, writers actually live in a lockdown 80% of the time anyway. Only when yeah. the launch and a talk is there, I come out. Otherwise, you're just writing. So, I've written the next book, which will come in October. It is another murder mystery and... Uh, if you liked one arrange murder, it's got the same detectives, Keshav and Saurabh. So, yeah. You, yeah. so it's 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 come out really well because I think it's come out really well because I had nothing to do. I had literally focused on that book. So I will talk about it more closer to the release. But so that's that means be that one you have finished earlier in a shorter yeah. span of time. Yeah, because there was nothing it. else, no distractions as yeah, the correct. question ma'am asked. It's amazing what you can do with no distractions. So <laughs> as you promised that you are going to come on the annual day of Indian School yes. Alma Bela to Oman. So just bring that copy too. We will be having it from you, you will. with your autograph. Come. Let's just get this Corona thing. Chalo, go Corona, go. And yeah, then, definitely. Then I'll come. We all are having our fingers crossed <laughs> yes. that it should go. Yes. Yeah. Thank so, you so much. That's it. So one more thing, please. Mm. One last. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a very small one. Uh, which other activity than writing is still in your bucket list? Into my bucket list? Oh my yeah, God. Uh, directing a movie. Oh, great. So okay. I might do that. Good in terms of work. That. But yeah, I like cooking and all that. But that's not in the bucket list. I've already done it. But yeah, I, 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 I like to learn more cooking. Okay. I love Middle Eastern cooking, by the way. Believe it or not. In, okay. Because great. I was doing an Oman webinar, I ordered Middle Eastern food tonight. 
So after this, I'm going to eat my two oyster food. Great listening to you, sir, on that. Really, it's a pleasure. And yes, so you might be trying that falafel and all, right? <laughs> yes, hummus and all that. I love. Yeah. Great. So we so welcome you to that. Oman with open arms. So please come and enjoy the delight here. You will really you so love much. it. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It was really generous and realistic replies, and we are indebted and obligated, sir. Really, we are, you know, having immense pleasure to have you, and it's a moment everybody is having a smile on their face that we are, you know, virtually connected in this pandemic time. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for hosting this so well. You're Thank welcome, you. sir. Our pleasure. Thank you. Bye, so, guys. Bye. Uh, See you soon. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Now I would request Master Joel to please guide us for the further proceedings of the program. It was a fascinating and insightful session. We are privileged to have you with us, sir. And thank you very much for sharing your expertise and experience and engaging in such fruitful, constructive and open exchanges throughout the session. This is a lovely day. And so does the new normal ambience and aura surrounding it. Soon, the merriment will unfold and will transport us to another world. We're going to view a spectacular Sufi dance for Tehkik by the students of ISAM. Joel, what is it all about? I don't understand. Can you say something more about it? Yes, of course I will. Tehkik means to search in Urdu. Sufi whirling is a form of physically active meditation which originated among certain Sufi groups. It is a customary meditation practice done by listening to the music, focusing on God and spinning one's body in repetitive circles. That's quite interesting. Dear viewers, feel the rhythm of Tehkik and enjoy as they're moments away from hitting the crowd. Here we go. Ya muhayiman niye maaki gilayi ruhin niye rundua ini tiye tu di ni chay tu ravi nilan pade inni munila.
screen with the twisting and twirling. That is typical of a Sufi dance. The music was absolutely divine and mesmerizing. I suppose it will take some time for me to come out of it. Gratitude is the fairest blossom which springs from the soul. Every celebration is an experience. The external fades away and the internal lingers and echoes in the most depths of our heart. We are reminded that events like this one are milestones in the journey of life and reminders of God's fidelity all through. As we stand at the threshold of winding up this session, may I invite Mrs. Vijita Shivanand, the coordinator of ISDF 2020, to propose the vote of thanks. Kalpayati yena vrittim, yena chaloke. Prashasyate sat bihihi. Sagunaste nacha gunina rakshayaha samvarda nishaya. The skill that sustains livelihood and which is praised by all should be fostered and protected for our own development. Namaste, a warm and pleasant evening to our most valued and respected dignitaries who have graced the third day of ISTF. 2020. On behalf of the school management and the entire ISM family, I, Vijita Shivanand, coordinator of IST of 2020, consider it as a great privilege to propose the vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked hard to make this day a remarkable one. At the outset, let me extend my most sincere thanks to the Almighty God for making today's event a resounding success. With his blessings and grace, we were able to make this event a memorable one. On behalf of Indian School Alma Bela, I extend my sincere gratitude to the motivational speaker, Mr. Chetan Bhagat, who is a best-selling author and a popular newspaper columnist. Today, we had an opportunity to listen to the speech of the great icon, which will surely encourage us in our future endeavors. Next, I would like to take this opportunity to place on record our sincere thanks to the chairman, board of directors, Dr. Baby Sam Samuel, for inspiring us to organize ISTF 2020. I wish to express my gratitude to Mr. Jolly Matthews, President, School Management Committee, Indian School, Alma Bela, and our principal, Mr. P. Prabhakaran, for placing enormous trust and confidence in my abilities. I express my cordial thanks to the respected members of the School Management Committees of all the Indian schools in Oman. I'm extremely thankful to the principals of the Indian schools in Oman for their guidance and support. Sincere thanks goes to the ISTF coordinators from various Indian schools. My gratitude 
also goes to all the judges for sharing their views. I would like to express my sincere thanks to the media partner, Mask It Daily, for giving a brilliant coverage to ISTF 2020. A special thanks goes to all the generous sponsors for supporting the event. I extend my gratitude to the ISAM IT team and other ISTF committee members and teachers for the painstaking and selfless efforts to make today's event an exceptional one. My sincere gratitude goes to all the parents and students of 21 Indian schools and care and special education and other well-wishers for your consistent support and encouragement. Thanks to the audience gathered online for attending this event. Finally, I would like to thank our burgeoning talents who made this event joyful with their impressive performances. Your dedication and hard work were evident in your acts. All the events were stunning and were enjoyed by each one of us. No duty is more urgent than returning thanks. Once again, thanking each and every one with a grateful heart. Thank you, everyone. The end of a story is the new beginning for many others. On this note, let's conclude a remarkable, memorable, and knowledgeable session. On behalf of ISEM, we sincerely thank the dignitaries for being with us this evening and enlightening us with their enthusiastic remarks. I shower my heartful gratitude to all those who gave their wholehearted support for this motivational talk session. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful, fun-filled evening and see you all tomorrow with many more interesting events about which my friends Neha and Karthik will brief you on. Until then, it's a goodbye from Joel, Roma and Ritika ma'am. To improve the golden moment of opportunity and catch the good that is in our rate is the great art of life. Good evening to the amazing audience gathered online. We have spent yet another day at ISCF 2020 and has filled our hearts with mixed emotions. Moments of pride, accomplishment, anxiety and fulfillment encourage us to cherish this day too in our memories. Now, let me brief the audience about the events that are yet to come. On 30th January 2021, the last day of ISTF 2020 will be celebrated. And on that day, we are going to witness many a events from the junior category like Bharatanatyam, contemporary dance, Carnatic music, Western music, light music, graphite pencil drawing, etc. through channel 1. Through channel 2, we are going to witness henna designing, creativity ad, flyer preparation, digital photography, album making, academic symposium, etc. And through channel 3, we have all the open group events like Indian folk dance, English skit, a cappella song, book review, rock band, utar, ten events, sub junior events, etc. I request everyone to kindly join us for the ISTF anthem.
valuable feedback in the link provided in YouTube. Be mindful, be grateful, be positive, be true, be kind. With these inspiring words, we would like to take leave. Good night, everyone. Stay safe. इसीलिए कैश कैरी करना मैंने कब का छोड़ दिया अब तो सिर्फ ये बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा का डेबिट कार्ड अब ऑफलाइन शॉपिंग करने का मूड हो या ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग ये तो कहीं भी यूज हो सकता है और अगर कभी कैश की जरूरत पड़ ही गई तो कोई भी एटीएम से निकाल लो बस किसी और देश जाओ तब भी कैश की टेंशन नहीं ए हो या पेमेंट ये कार्ड करें आपकी वेकेशन स्ट्रेस फ्री पिन और सी नंबर के साथ कार्ड यूज करना है कम्प्लीटली सेफ एंड सिक्योर और इतने सारे ऑप्शंस के साथ अब आपका डेबिट कार्ड बनेगा फैशन स्टेटमेंट आखिर फ्यूचर है बैंकिंग तो इजी ही होगी बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा इंडिया इंटरनेशनल बैंक 